gathered together again. Whether you are with us live for these few minutes that we have, or you're listening to this later on, just honor the fact that you have shown up. What a great thing to do for yourself, to show up. And so wherever you are in this comfortable spot that you've kind of landed, I would invite you to go ahead and close your eyes. Just begin to breathe, slowly taking the breath in and intentionally letting the breath go. Let's find you a rhythm that feels good. It feels empowering. And this week I've thought a lot about this concept of self-love. We talked about it on Valentine's Day. But what I'd really like to do is just honor the fact that it's a topic for every day. Not a topic just because Hallmark says there's a day on the calendar that we should focus on it, but it is a topic that our well-being depends on. And so tonight, in these moments, I want to share with you one of my most favorite quotes. So simple, so powerful. And I go back to this quote again and again, especially when I'm walking through really tough times. And it says, no mud, no lotus. And I want that to be the theme for the coming days, just different ways of exploring this, this quote. Thich Nhat Hanh, this incredible monk who gives us so many words of wisdom, is the one who first said that. No mud, no lotus. And from wherever you are, I know our eyes are closed. I would just invite you for just a moment, just open up your eyes and just take a look at this lotus flower. Just sitting there on the surface of the pond. We can't really see what's going on below. All we see is this incredible flower just sitting there, almost perfection on the surface of the water. So just keep that image in your mind and allow your eyes to close again. And rather than focusing these few minutes that we have on the flower, I wanna focus on what goes on beneath the surface of that pond before that flower comes to be. The lotus flower starts off as a tiny seed as every flower does, but it's not a seed in a garden or on the floor of the forest or in a flower pot. It is a seed in the mud, in the darkest part of the pond. And you know, down in the mud, it's murky and there's bugs. And it's not usually a place that you would imagine that good comes from. But what happens to that little seed in the mud produces that image that you just saw. If you've ever seen a lotus flower in real life in front of you on the surface of the water, I know you can imagine the incredible beauty that it represents. But just think, it started off as a seed in the mud. And so for these moments that we have right now, again, we're not gonna focus on the flower, we're gonna focus on the mud. And I think that the mud is a metaphor for the stuff that we go through. And sometimes we are walking through life and it is good. And we feel like the sun is shining on us all hours of the day and people smile and our spirits are calm. But then all of a sudden, something happens. We find ourselves deep in the mud. Oftentimes you feel like your feet are just stuck and you just, you can't move them out. Like the mud is gripping onto you and you can't move forward. But y'all, that same mud gripped onto that little tiny seed and held it in place so it didn't float to the surface of the water before it was time. And as that mud held on, that seed began to grow and ultimately transform. And it didn't happen fast. We didn't go from seed in the mud to lotus flower overnight. It was a journey. And so in these moments that we have right now, what I'd like us to do is honor our mud. 
And some of us are in the mud right now. Personally, relationally, maybe in your health, in your professional life. For some, it's more than just one piece that feels like it's the mud. And you feel like you're stuck. And that seed down deep in the pond can't even imagine the incredible light above the surface because it's so stuck in the mud. And sometimes that's how we feel too. And our meditation practice does not insulate us from things like that. But what it helps us to do is own it. In this moment, this present moment, I want to own my story. I want to own the mud that I've already been through. And if the case is for you that it's right now, I want to own the mud that I'm in today. But rather than seeing it as something that paralyzes me and cripples me, I want to see it as holding on to me in a way that's going to allow me to grow. The same way it hangs on to that little seed, allowing some roots to begin to sprout. And then all of a sudden a stem begins to emerge. So just sit quietly for just the next few breaths and just ask yourself, what's the mud for me right now? And if you're not going through something right now, I would encourage you honor something that you've already been through. Change your perspective on it. If you've brought bitterness forward to today or you've brought resentment or you've brought a sense in your mind that, that you're the victim, Maybe you honor the mud and start to just see it differently, even though it's already passed. And that's the gift that our meditation practice brings to us. So let's just sit for just the next few breaths and then I'll, I'll lead us a bit more. But for now, just see which mud needs honoring in your life. And then I want you just to notice as you recall that thing or you think about that current situation for you, notice if there was any change in your heart, in the tightness of your chest or in the rate of your breath. Because oftentimes when we think about the things that cause us sorrow or frustration or anger, physiologically, it affects us. So let's go back to the breath and calm the body, ease the mind, and bring peace back to the spirit. So together, take a long, slow, deep breath in. And then gently open your mouth and slowly release it. A long, slow, deep breath in. Gently release it. One more. Long, deep breath in. And release it. And notice now how quickly things can change. With just three breaths. But three breaths that are done with intention. And so as we sit together quietly in just a moment, I wanna take this just to one more level for us. Our nervous system is kind of the control center for our entire being. From the brain to the nerves, to the energy, to the impulses, it's all throughout our body. 
and oftentimes, in fact, probably I would say most of the time that we feel like we're in the mud, we're in the stuff of life. The part of our nervous system that takes control is the sympathetic side, the fight, flight, freeze part of us. So either we fight and we're angry about it and we push against it or we freeze and we get that feeling of feeling stuck and paralyzed or flight. We run away. We disconnect from life. We disconnect from the people that care about us and that we care about. But what I would like to offer to you is that there's a whole other side of your nervous system called the parasympathetic side. The rest and digest and peaceful side of you. And all you have to do is give it permission to be in charge. Which will then tell the fight or the flight or the freeze that it's time to stop. But how do we do that? How do we activate that part of our nervous system? Y'all, we breathe. We breathe with intention, with mindfulness. And we breathe until we feel something different within us. Whether that's three breaths or 10 breaths or five minutes, we allow the breath to trigger the parasympathetic side of us so that while we're in the mud, we can rest and digest and find peace. So let's use these couple minutes that we have of quiet to just breathe. If you're still feeling a little bit of tightness in your chest, I'd encourage you to breathe out through your mouth. Let it be calming as you do it. If you feel like the breath is already beginning to calm you, take it in and out through your nose. But you find a rhythm, a pace, a method that feels right for you. And it's almost as if you're tapping on that parasympathetic side and saying, okay, it's your turn. So let's take a breath in together and a breath out together. And then I'll continue my breath and you continue yours for just the next little bit. Just let your breath just return to normal. Don't think about it so much, just let it come. And just notice how do you feel in this moment? And in the days to come, we'll get to the focus on the lotus flower. But I would encourage you that in this moment together, in the moments to come before we meet again, let's work on honoring our mud Let's work on breathing while we're in it. Let's work on activating the softer side of us, telling the fight and the flight and the freeze, you're not in charge. I'm in this mud. It's holding me in place because transformation is coming. And I'll be patient and I'll be compassionate 
as I learn to wait. Namaste.